Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn and welcome to Minecraft Dark Fantasy. Playing this a lot lately. A lot with Guidin actually, or Guidin, however you pronounce it. Chat a lot of Twitch team. Just discovered a source of a mineral rich deposit. But before we proceed with that source of mineral rich deposit, I feel that I should set up some power establishments. Because my power is lacking. I've run out of biodiesel and various other things and I'm slightly lazy thus not going to restore it anytime soon okay so what am I doing I am building a structure obviously that's what I am doing 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 getting done <laughs> okay so I think for the first offing I want one of you here and then you can just carry on from there in an outward pattern. Ooh, ooh. And that is all the blue ice. In use. There we have it. The nuclear reactor, nuclear thermal reactor, anyways, is complete. Alrighty then. Ugh. No. Well, luckily I know the positions because it's a repeating pattern. This sounds is good enough for me. Hey. Well, I'm on single drill mode anyway, so we'll be fine. Bishop boo. Bishop boo. I could have figured out if I had captured the original mount I had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Oh dear. 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Ugh. Okay. This is why I hate vampires. Ever since insomnia was added to the game, vampires became far worse because it means no one can sleep because the vampires never sleep. Have you ever played on a server? No one gets to sleep. And so you always face these things because they turn off the vote to sleep. Uh, and then your armor gets destroyed because insomnia is meant to punish you for not sleeping. But guess what? Stinking vampires don't sleep. Seventy. All right, and then just land, you freaking idiot! I don't need to be on top of this. Oh, goodness, my pants! There's nothing left of them. I need to make new ones. these and one, one of those and perfect and that can hook up probably up to here I think it has enough reach yeah and that connects to everything else so we'll evenly distribute back into the system. And then that will hook up over here. And let's get a torch on every side of this for now. 
Okay. There we go. And now we just need 70 of these. So. And it's just a simple bit of wiring to be done. And hopefully we can get every single one of them connected without missing one of them. means electricity. Apparently so. The wires have no effect on them. Right. Well, how unfair is that? Here I was thinking it'd be excellent mob security. It doesn't even trigger for them. Very unfair. Alright. Someone is using that as fast travel. Or they're being confident, but I'm going to give it to them in the hopeful thought that they're using it as fast travel, because that's how I use it. Just so you know, if you apply that to your game, it will be abused. Uh, and that's why you really have to be careful, because it shouldn't be a fast travel system. And so you don't get punished for losing your stuff. That's actually one of my main problems with the uh, death mod that adds like the tombstone magic, or else, is it's a fast traveling system and they have like teleports and stuff and it's all related to death and so Corel gets a little bit weird in his travels because it sort of takes the idea and extends it and gamifies it. Maybe it gamifies it's alright instead of something you automatically get. I don't know, I, I prefer just a good old gravestone that doesn't do anything fancy. Or the corpse being left behind, as long as the corpse isn't left forever and is a buggy mess. Yeah, no, Corel's well's interesting magic-wise. Um, I start performing the function that I wanted to perform, which is just being a gravestone mod, you know. So, Corel's definitely isn't the mod for me. I, I like it, don't get me wrong, I don't mind it, it's just, it's not really my wheelhouse. It's, I've got a few issues with it. Oops, I messed up there. Don't want to mess up, else I'll lose track and some of these won't get plugged in. And that would be bad. Because we want them all plugged in. Because that's good. Good for us. That's how we get our power. Okay. Oh, that one's plugged in. Good. Just need to check. That one's plugged in. That one's plugged in. Well, these should all be running, actually, so I'll be able to mouse over them while they're running and see how much they produce, because it should be drawing out of them. They shouldn't be storing it up in themselves. And even when the wires store it in themselves, that's not too bad, because that means they act as, like, a storage system. Or that actually might be what causes a bazat, come to think of it. Hmm. I'm not 100% certain. I still don't know all the ins and outs of this mod. Right. I'm not exactly certain what triggers the bazaar. I mean, this certainly doesn't look safe. Let me tell you that for free. Yeah, so each one of these produces 42 power. And if we have 70 of them... Well, so 100 produces... Um, almost 4,000. So if we get 30 more, we can basically be producing the 4,000. So, like, I'm at 70, so that's another 40 will be enough to power big machines. So, basically another 40, like, filling this thing out would be about another 40. So one full chamber of these is a lot of power. Oh, someone forgot to complete a little wire system there. There we go. Alright. Cool. So, then we have the new power source, and yeah, I'll need a lot more loom. I should just set up, as fun as it is to move the diggers, I should just set up two new ones in the locations I need, because producing that stuff is kind of just what I need, which will require a lot more steel, which will require a lot more coal. Well, luckily I have a ton of coal right now. 
as I discovered how to get lots and lots of coal, which is quite nice. So it really means it comes down to emptying certain systems and making sure everything's clean and clocking through as it needs to be. Everything's cycling and shifting and going. So I could build the arc furnace, because the arc furnace is great for getting steel. It's a lot faster than all this, anyways. A lot, a lot faster. Like the recipes, the arc furnace does require coke dust to produce the steel. Wait, what's the difference between pet coke? What's pet coke? Oh, bitumen. Oh, interesting. Um, what are the other things for steel? Ah, oh, just steel grit. And then steel grit is made just by crushing steel. Oh. But then, how much coke dust do you produce in a grinder? It's one for one. Yeah. You mean basically amping up the coal coke ovens production because there's really only one recipe for coal coke. So it would be amping up basically their production and hooking up pumps to get rid of the castor oil. Which, honestly, I should just get done one of these days instead of taking a jerry can to the thing over and over again and causing environmental hazards in my own time when I could have machines doing it for me and just dumping it somewhere. Because that is one of the slower points of it, is having to deal with this stuff. I mean, luckily, technically, I'll say an infinite flow point. Still automating it would be a good idea. I have a nuclear power plant, which is lead-shielded with lead sheet metal, which is exciting. And since that thing's running, it should be drawing power. But this thing... Okay, it is ticking down, so we are using power. Definitely. This one here is ticking down, anyways. We'll see if the other one's ticking down, because it was slowly charging. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, this one's sticking, staying steady, so it's not being drawn from yet, I guess. Um, oh, it zapped. Why did it zap? Hmm. Too much power? Okay, maybe I'll need to have it come out at three points. Um, I can do that. I can do that. I mean, it's all going to be coming from the same point, but we might just... That whole thing zapped, actually. And so that's still fine, but this system here is zapped. Huh. Okay. Well then, let us just then do a little correction here, like this. And hopefully it won't zap again. So... Oh, well that's... Eh, that'll work. There we go. And... That one... There. And that one to there. Alright. And then we'll take you... Over here. Here. Right. You can go to there. You can go to the mid one. So a few cross wires here and there, not gonna be any big problem. Uh, now they're all connecting to the singular point, which is a slight concern for me. Or did I never connect them in the first place? I might never connect them in the first place come to think of it. That is highly potential. I feel like I did, but I might not have. I might have just set it up and never got it done. Alright. But that should be going now. So that should be drawing power from all those. And it should start sucking it from each one. Alright. And none of the wires have caught fire yet, which is a good sign. Oh, damn it. Did a line just go? 
whole line just went. What causes that? So that whole line there is gone. I really don't know how this works, to be perfectly honest. Um, hmm. If you do know, let me know, because I am deeply confuddled by all this. Okay, yeah, so that one's still hooked up happily. And for some reason, this whole line here burnt out. And it's like they exceed their excess capacity or something, but they really shouldn't be. And I believe I have this one also hooked up to over here. We'll just do that again. Right. And we'll hook this one all the way down back to here. And it only burnt out that far, thankfully. So it didn't burn out on anything too important. Okay. For some reason there's maggots there. And everything else is still hooked up. You know, the burnouts are really weird to me. I have no idea what causes them. Uh, but just in the future, in case with the nuclear reactor, I'm gonna have to build other points of power for connection. Just so that doesn't have the chance of happening. Um, everything seems to be fine now. And all running hunky dory. And this thing is getting charged up. Um, slash. Uh, no, there. It's not in. Vanilla. Don't know about or wants. So, yeah, there's nothing in vanilla for that. I do know that for certain. No, now the middle wire is gone. Okay. So it's clearly unhappy. Um. Hmm. this distress. How do I remedy this? Is that wire there went? Um, I have bigger concerns and more fish to fry than the kettle you have to offer me at the moment. Eh. Hmm. Is it going while I'm standing here talking? I have absolutely no idea why. Is it because it's all coming to that one point on the search? No, the search should be fine. Hmm. I really have no idea. What I could do is have all these bank into one battery, though, in the future and have all the power come out of that battery, and that might prevent sudden random surges. Which I think I will do. I'll have all this bank into a battery. And that will just be a safer run. Maybe several batteries. I could set up three separate batteries, have it all come out of there and go to the system. Yeah, so I'll do that next time. As for now, the, um, oh dear, the armor eaters have gotten me. Okay, well, we'll leave it there for today. I will catch everyone next time when that time comes around and still be confused by the wires, but power's still flowing, so it's all still working. But anyways, until that time comes around where I get a new pair of pants to wear, I'll see you all then. So until then, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>